Hi and welcome to Pencil Bank and our analyst presentation on fingerprint cards. My name is Marcus Salmerud and I'm an analyst here at the bank. So fingerprint cards is a leading producer of capacitive fingerprint sensors to mobile phones, PCs, smart locks and credit and debit cards. The investment case in short is that we believe in sharp growth ahead driven by in particular PC and access cards which we don't think the market gives it credit for. On top of this we have optionality from the payment cards, which we believe will be the next mass market for fingerprint sensors. We have a fair value range of 13 to 15 Swedish Krona, uh, compared to the current share price of around three. So the reason for talking today is to follow up after Q4 earnings and the rights issue, and to point out that we think we are at an inflection point. It's been turbulent, a couple of words on where we're coming from. So the pressure all came from the mobile phone segment. Fingerprints are large with Chinese mobile phone manufacturers. Mobile phone sales in China basically collapsed as the country closed down during the second quarter. Meanwhile, the supply chain had prepared for an upturn in the second half of last year. And as it was clear that this was not gonna happen, the whole value chain started to empty their inventories starting with the OEMs. And this means that they didn't order anything from their sub-suppliers, who didn't order anything from their sub-suppliers, who is, among others, fingerprint cards. Meanwhile, from the other end, fingerprints had ordered, ordered wafers for production for six months ahead. And the impact was that on one end, fingerprints got stock in, but very few finished products were, were uh, shipped on. The inventory build that resulted was massive. During the second and third quarter, they doubled the inventories from 200 million to 400 million Swedish krona, and this can be compared with the full year revenues of 860 million krona. This capital build needed to be financed, and as a result, there was a capital injection. This is now behind us, so the company has started to empty inventories, uh, which has fallen to 300 million krona. It's going back to 200, so we're halfway through. The mobile phone value chain is moving, and tangible evidence of this is that revenues seem to have troughed in the third quarter. So what about the other segments? Well, sales outside of capacitive sensors to mobile phones accounted for 30% of sales in Q4, and is estimated to reach 45% in 2023. This is primarily driven by PC and sensors to access products such as dongles, access cards, and gaming consoles. And this is massively important. Why? Because ASPs are more stable. So diversification away from mobile phone OEMs could be a game changer for the company in terms of stability. Payment cards is still a small market, but is moving along according to plan after a slow start. So what is the conclusion of all this? Well, I think that however I look at it, the share is too low. If I assume that the mobile phone market will be at the same levels in terms of volume in five years as before the pandemic, and I value it at one-time sales, which I think is conservative, it's worth a little more than two kronas per fingerprint share. Then I'm ignoring everything else. If I look at how the market prices IDEX, which is the only proper a competitor on the payment side, the market value IDEX to around two krona per fingerprint share. So if I make the simplistic assumptions that fingerprints and IDEX will have similar market shares in payment cards over time, we're now at four. Bottom line is that as the company keeps diversifying, it will become more stable. The market is seriously lowballing the opportunities and it is at an inflection point. Risk reward is very compelling. Very. Thank you.